about it. Democratic pollster and president of Momentum Analysis, Margie O'Meara, and former deputy assistant to President George W. Bush, Brad Blakeman. Good to see you both. Brad, let Thank me start with you. Me. As you know, states do have individual rights to confer certain benefits and privileges, and I just named a few of them, but has the president now created by executive fiat a status for these people that is so vague and ambiguous that it's really left the states in a situation where they have to cobble together or craft rules that are inherently inconsistent. Absolutely, Greg. You know as a lawyer and I know as a lawyer that uh, the executive order that the president issued on uh, uh, immigration is a trampling of states' rights. and The states aren't going to put up with it. We saw what uh, Governor Brewer did of Arizona. She issued her own executive order saying there will be no driver's licenses to create a legal status for people who are here illegally. And let's remember on 9-11, how did, they, how did the hijackers get on planes? They used driver's licenses. They weren't here legally. And, and you're creating a whole quandary of problems, not only for, for people who intend bad acts against Americans, but also the, the uh, trampling of states' rights where they have to follow a vague uh, law, which, which yeah. implies legal status for people who are clearly here illegally. Yeah. And let's remember, in 2008, President Obama promised immigration reform. Right. He promised it in his first year. He didn't deliver. Well, we didn't have it so what Bush is he either. doing? Margie, he, he's, he's delivering what he, what, what he can't do through legislation. Margie, the Obama order. administration went to the Supreme Court and said, do not allow states on immigration matters to create this patchwork uh, because it's inconsistent. Now they're saying, well, forget all of that. Is the president being inconsistent, if not hypocritical? Look, you're absolutely right that states, uh, we didn't have comprehensive immigration reform under Bush and a Republican Congress. We haven't had it yet under Obama. And you're absolutely right that states have their own laws. In this case, this particular policy is very popular. Fox News poll from a couple months ago showed 54% support this policy. It does nothing to force states to change their driver's license laws. It is it refers to a very small group of the population. Kids who were brought here, young people it's, under it's 30, who were brought million. here, who were brought here, who right. may be eligible. So listen, and they they were here, they've lived here at least five years. They were brought right. here as children. They're in school. They're right with the law. They haven't. Uh, they're they've served in the military. Military, and uh, it gives you know, them a temporary work that. permit and I, prevents them from being I'm deported. And there have been more deportations under uh, Obama what than I'm under asking President here Bush. Is about inconsistency and danger. And, and to that latter part, Brad, let me put it to you this way California, for example, is now using the president's uh, executive decision on deferred status to give people who are here illegally a driver's license. Now, the 9 11 hijackers, many of whom were here illegally as well obtain state licenses using them to board the airplanes. Could one argue, Brad, that the president is making it easier for acts of terrorism to be committed? Do you worry about that? I, I sure do. I lost a nephew in 9-11 who was a first responder. I, I, I am very concerned that the federal law is supposed to is supposed to have uniformity among the states, and now you have, a, again, a patchwork, which the Supreme Court uh, was trying to avoid, where certain states are going to issue driver's license, certain states are not. So what do you think the people who have bad intentions against this country are going right. to do? They're not going to go to Arizona, they're going to go to California. Margie, let me get my question in, Margie. The 9-11 Commission investigating the attacks urged the states to tighten their licensing requirements. Has the president now, with his decision, undermined the recommendations of the 9-11 Commission, a very important set of recommendations? This doesn't have anything to do with driver's licenses, and, and oh, states Margie, are, are able to... The only reason we're talking are able about to... it is the decision on driver's license made two days ago by the governor of Arizona, and now we hear California is taking the opposite view. That wasn't a decision. Licenses. She just made an announcement. She clarified, said, look, I just want to make an announcement, and she herself in a follow-up interview was unclear really how it would change what do she's already doing. Do you deny that California will now give illegals driver's licenses because of the president's decision? Look, if, look, the political will and states are that? different. Look, I, I don't, can't speak for the state of California laws. All I can say is that Obama's policy is popular. It's popular across the country. It, it refers to people who are brought here as children who are doing everything. It's popular they in theory, but not in practice. It will with not work in practice. We know that. So in what practice, people it will think be even in, more in popular because people thing will be talking about the student next door who you know was brought here at five, who has documentation, who has a passport, who right. has a, you know a, a pr proof of all of their uh, identity, and just wants to be able to go to school. Margie, after serving in the military. We'll have to leave you with the last word, and thank you very much for being here. Margie Amaro, Brad Blakeman, thank you, thank you both. Thank you.